Welcome to Carmen's Australian Storytime. Today I'm in New Zealand at Tangitaria Waterfall, just outside of Tanui. It's about 15 to 20 metres tall, this waterfall, and with all the rain we've had, it's looking very cool. I'll show you at the end. And I thought, what a great place to read a book. But I'm down to my last few books, so I'm reading a Mr. Men book called Little Miss Helpful. I hope you're being helpful today wherever you are. Little Miss Helpful was one of those people who loved to help other people. But who ends up helping nobody? Do you know what I mean? I mean, for instance, like the time when one of Mr. Tall's shoelaces came undone. Now, if you're as tall as Mr. Tall, tying your shoelaces isn't the easiest thing in the world. As you can imagine, let me help, cried Little Miss Helpful, rushing up. Uh-oh. Then, somehow, she managed to tie Mr. Tall's shoelaces together, and he fell over. And if you're as tall as Mr. Tall, falling over hurts. Bang! Ouch, he said rubbing his head. She was only trying to be helpful. Let me help, cried Little Miss Helpful and rushed off to get some sticky plaster and rushed back and stuck it on Mr. Tall over his mouth. He was trying to say, take it off. Mm -hmm. But that's rather difficult to do with sticky plaster stuck over your mouth. Little Miss Helpful looked at him with concern. Let me help, she cried, and ripped the sticky plaster off his mouth. Ow, oh, he cried, that hurt. Would you like me to get some cream for your sore mouth, she asked anxiously. No, he groaned, go away. Now, do you know what I mean about people like Little Miss Helpful who help nobody? Last year in April, I think it was Mr. Happy woke up feeling not very well. The doctor had to be called and he came to Mr. Happy's house, which is on a hill by a lake. Oh dear. Oh dear, said the doctor when he saw Mr. Happy. Measles! Mr. Happy's face fell. Now you're to stay tucked up nice and warm in bed and get lots of rest and take this medicine three times a day, said the doctor. And off he went. Mr. Happy settled down to go to sleep. He'd just fallen asleep when there was a loud knock at his front door. Oh dear, groaned Mr. Happy and staggered off to open it. You can guess who it was, can't you? I've come to help, she cried. But, protested Mr. Happy, but nothing, cried little Miss Helpful. Now off you go to bed while I get on with everything. She looked around. The place needs a good clean, she said. Mr. Happy had just dropped off to sleep again when Miss Helpful poked her head around his bedroom door. There, hey, have you got a scrubbing brush, she asked. Poor Mr. Happy had to get up and show her where it was and then he went back to bed to sleep. Oh no. Little Miss Helpful stepped back to admire the kitchen floor she'd just scrubbed and trod on the soap and fell head over heels and got her head stuck in the bucket and, because she couldn't see where she was going, walked into a shelf full of saucepans which fell all over the floor with a terrible clatter. And, because she couldn't see where she was going, Little Miss Helpful stepped in one of the saucepans and got it stuck on her foot. And, because she had to hop, she fell over against the refrigerator door, which flew open and everything inside fell out. All over Little Miss Helpful. Oh my goodness, that's not very helpful, is it? Poor Mr. Happy awoke with a jump at the terrible commotion. He groaned, he got out of bed, went to the kitchen and opened the door. He couldn't believe his eyes. There in the middle of a pile of broken eggs and a scrubbing brush and rolling saucepan 
and a lot of water and spilt milk and squashed butter and bent saucepan lids and a piece of soap sat little Miss Helpful with a bucket on her head and a saucepan on her foot. Help! came a voice from inside the bucket. Poor little Miss Helpful. Mr. Happy seized the bucket and pulled as hard as ever he could and pulled and pulled. Pop! The bucket came off the top of little Miss Helpful's head like a cork out of a bottle. Mr. Happy shot backwards like a bullet from a gun. Crash! He went flying through the kitchen door. Oh dear. He shot across the garden and straight through his garden hedge. He rolled down the hilly field behind the garden faster and faster and splash. He finished up in the lake with the bucket in his hand and a little figure with a saucepan on one hand on one foot came half running, half hopping out of Mr. Happy's house. Oh, poor Mr. Happy. This is the worst day ever. Let me help, she cried. Uh, I don't think so, little Miss Helpful. You've been uh, less than helpful, right? What a funny story. I wonder what happened in the end. I wonder if she ever got that saucepan off her foot. Thank you for joining me on Carmen's Australian Storytime. Let me give you a little quick look at where we are. Check out that waterfall. It's not a very big waterhole, but the waterfall is pretty impressive. And it goes all the way back down there. Thank you for joining me on Carmen's Australian Storytime. Don't forget to click and subscribe and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.